To be honest, to be honest, I'm a little nervous because these are these are relatively expensive, but here goes nothing. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Fang from Lords of the Trident, and I just got a wonderful package in the mail. It's brand new, custom molded in-ear monitors from All Claire. A couple of people on our Patreon asked if we could do uh, unboxing and review of these, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, by the way, thanks to our Patreon backers, huge thanks for allowing us the opportunity to actually <laughs> spend the money on these and buy these. Uh, if you wanna help us out, go to patreon.com slash lords of the trident. We got lots of prizes and amazing stuff. I think most unboxing videos are kind of boring, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox these and we're gonna compare them uh, to three other different in-ear monitors, the Shure 215s, the KZ-ZS-6s, and the KZ-ZS-16s, which is what I'm currently using on stage. And we're gonna see how these compare. All right, we've got four different pairs of in-ear monitors in here. And these are mine. <laughs> they have, they, on the website, they have an option to order a $40 uh, Pelican case that holds your in-ears. Um, I was, they, they also sell $20 Pelican cases on Amazon, and I was wondering how different they were. It, it actually seems like they're exactly the same. Um, but I think these, yeah, this, this case has like a foam mold on the inside that holds all of your like cleaning equipment. Um, so for an extra 20 bucks, I mean, if you're spending, you know, 600 to a thousand dollars on custom molded in-ear monitors, an extra 20 bucks is not really gonna be the the, the make or break for you. Um, and this will be nice to actually have like all my cleaning stuff and uh, accoutrement. Accoutrement! So now the moment of truth, here we go. Aha! All right, custom fit, multi-driver, in-ear monitor. Well, your family now. Oh, that's nice. These guys are from Minneapolis. They're from Minnesota. So, you know, just a hop, skip, and a jump away from us. Here. This case provides a dignified job in the country of Haiti. Oh, so it's cool. It's a neat little leather case. What's it, what else is in here? See, I opted for the additional cleaning tools. More cleaning tools. Monitor warranty card. Oh, and a sticker. Stickers are always great. This is this is a pretty this is a pretty nice this is a pretty nice leather case. It's uh. Oh, I opted for a upgraded cable, which I think is maybe a little longer than normal. Kind of seems, I don't know, kind of seems like a regular cable. Doesn't seem like it's a, the, the upgraded. Seems a little thinner than the, the, like the, the nice cables that I've ordered on Amazon. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's weird to see like your own ear. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm honestly, I'm nervous for this because this is like the moment of truth here. This is, you know, if they actually fit correctly in your ears. So here goes nothing. Okay. Yep. That's uh, that's my ear canal. That's for sure. That's weirder than I thought. Uh, takes a little bit of finagling to get up. Oh. Okay. Wow. These uh, here. Let's get the side view. These are these are bulkier uh, than I thought they would be. Now I have the Spire six driver, but I will say. The fit is perfect. It's really nice. They, they feel bigger than I thought they were gonna feel, but not in a bad way. They actually feel kind of nice and hefty. And I feel like I can really push them in. And I don't, I don't feel like they're gonna pop out at all. Really, really nice. Really good. Very, very weird if you've never, <laughs> if you've never like put a mold of your own ears into your own ears before. It's, it's, it's crazy how nice it fits. Um, I got red on one side, white on the other, clear on the other, I should say, so that I could differentiate really fast which one was to go in which ear, right, red. Before we get into how these sound, because I really, really want to hear, I'd like to start with a baseline. Now, when you get into, when most people get into in-ear monitors, they'll buy a system maybe from Shure. The first monitors that they get are usually the Shure 215s. They're a single driver monitor and they're kind of like the default, right? The default sort of in-ear experience that, that most people start out with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a track uh, from our friends Unleash the Archers and I'm going to test uh, all of these 
starting with the least amount of drivers, so this only has one driver in it, starting with the least amount of drivers, uh, working through the KZs, and then up to my All Clear custom molded in ears, which have six drivers. So let's start with the Sure 215s. These have, these have one driver. I spent I spent so long looking for the freaking dongle for this phone. Thanks, Apple. Unleash Archers. Let's do their new album, Abyss. And uh, you know what? Let's do Carry the Flame because we did a cover of that. Let's let's do that one. So the 215s are. Not bad. They're kind of what I would expect with a general headphone that you'd like wear on the bus. Honestly, they're pretty well balanced. Not a whole lot of low lows. A little bit less crispy on the high end than maybe than maybe you'd be used to, but generally not bad. Okay, let's move over to the KZ ZS sixes. The KZ ZS sixes have four drivers in them, um, and KZ actually is a company that it's a chinese company that uh they're did that fall off this, this has never happened before the thing just popped right off all right it's a chinese company who makes very cheap but um according to the internet very high-end sounding uh in-ear monitors i use the kzzs6s which have four drivers in them uh for a while after our bassist bought them for his uh, in-ear monitoring. Apparently these have really, really good low end to them. And that's actually kind of what I found too, is that when I was using them, you know, the, the low end really shined through. So let's, let's put this on and let's compare it to the, the 215s. The low end difference is huge. Way, way warmer on that low end. You know, almost somewhere between like 100 and 300 hertz. M might almost be a bit muddy. But the high end is actually pretty good. It's not quite as 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 uh, crispy on the top end. It sounds like shelves shelves off around maybe like 4K, 6K maybe. But the low end is really beefy. So if you're trying to like match your voice to um, a bass, uh, or if you're playing drums and you really want that thump on the uh, on the kick to come through, the low end on this is really really nice. It's really wide and warm. Yeah, the KZZS6s have four drivers. That's four in each headphone here. Um, and what the drivers do, typically, is they they separate the sound. So instead of having one cone of a speaker producing all of the entire frequency range, they cut it up into like four different little cones, essentially. It's oversimplifying, but this is kind of how it works. You know, if, you, if you've seen one of those, um, if you've seen like a speaker, with a tweeter and a woofer, like a, a, a speaker up here and a speaker down here. The tweeter at the top takes care of the high frequencies, that tss, you know, that kind of stuff. And the woofer down at the bottom goes, woo, 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 takes care of the lower frequencies. So you can kind of cut the frequency spectrum in half where you get the lower stuff down there and the higher stuff goes up to the tweeter. That's kind of what happens inside of these ears. Um, and the more uh, drivers you have, the more speakers essentially you have and the more separation you can get Theoretically, the cleaner the sound will be. At least that's how I understand it. So now, let's move over to the flagship Giganto model of KZ, which are, uh, this is the, the, the KZ, I believe the ZS16. Um, these guys have eight drivers in each ear. Um, eight drivers, a little bit mid, a, a little bit of a over, overdoing it? I don't know. Uh, but they're, they were really cheap. The Shure 215s are 100 bucks. These guys, with eight drivers in each ear, was like 140. So for like 40 bucks more, I can get 16 drivers instead of two total, which is crazy to me. Um, also, the, the KZZS6s with four drivers in them, I think they were like 50 bucks. And they to me, they sound way better than the Shure 215s, uh, especially on the low end. Okay. Uh, the high end is really, really, really bright, crackly almost, um, cuts through like a knife, nowhere near as much low end as the, uh, as the ZS6 is, nowhere near, but the low end that it does have is very clean and crisp, like, the bass notes, I can really hear the, each individual attack, da 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 
as it's coming through. I would categorize these uh, these ZS16s as just a very, very, having a lot of high end. Um, really crispy. Good if you're, you know, probably great for guitars um, and, well, for most instruments. It's, it's generally pretty balanced. Would I recommend these for like a low end instrument, like a bass? Mm, probably not. It depends on what kind of bass you're playing. If you're playing a, re a bass with a lot of woomph, you know, with a lot of low end to it, um, maybe maybe not the 16s. Maybe the 16s are not for you. Now it's the moment of truth. <laughs> Let's try the All Clear. These are Spire six driver uh, custom molded in ears. Give this a shot. Ugh, whose idea was it to grow up my hair? To be honest, to be honest, I'm a little nervous because these are these are relatively expensive, but. Here goes nothing. Oh, I like the low end on these. First impressions, nowhere near as crispy as the 16 drivers, but really well balanced, actually. Um, more low end, which is really nice. And, and the low end is tight, but also warm. It's also warm, kind of like the ZS6s. It's got that big, wide feeling, wide and warm feeling to it. But I can still really hear each bass note coming through. 16's way, way, way crispier. Maybe almost to a deficit. This one feels wide and warm and nice. Maybe with a little cut at the very top end. This is almost actually closer to the ZS6's than I thought it was gonna be, but it's clearer. The ZS6's have a lot of wide, you know, heavy mid boost, uh, mid low end boost. This one's really nice and even. I'm really happy with this. And also they, fit like a dream. I never have to worry about them falling out of my head. Right. Would I recommend All Clear for the money? Um, I ended up getting these on a Black Friday deal, uh, which made them about a hundred bucks cheaper than they normally would have. Um, I get amazing artwork. I think the, the main thing for me is that my in-ears that I was using kept falling out because I would run around the stage like a madman and I'd be sweating into my ears and they weren't, you know, fit to my ears. So they would always kind of pop out on me. These have a lot better of a seal because they're directly molded to my ears. I think there's a lot less opportunity for them to just kind of flop out on stage, which which is gonna be absolutely what I need for these. If I could take the high end of the 16s and just add, you know, maybe the, the littlest bit of that to these, these would be the absolute perfect in-ear monitor. But for the price, for the custom mold, 600 bucks is a, it's a pretty good price for something like this. So yeah, I, I would definitely recommend them. Once again, big shout out to our Patreon backers at patreon.com slash Lords of the Trident for um, allowing us, the, financially allowing us to be able to afford these amazing pieces of musical equipment. If you, uh, if you like this review, if this helped out, if you want to help support the band, go to patreon.com slash Lords of the Trident. Um, pledge anything, and all of it goes to us. We are the number one most supported independent metal band on Patreon for a reason. Go check it out. We'll see you next time. <laughs>